on to the big issue of the day. Christmas pudding. Do you love it? Do you loathe it? I want to hear your view on this. So it is the big topic of the day, Christmas pudding. Love them or loathe them with just 43 days to go until Christmas. I know, terrifying. It's been revealed in a recent study that just 59% of us no longer think the traditional festive staple is an important part of Christmas Day, but yet 92% of people asked still think that Christmas dinner is a vital part of the day. So dinner good, pudding bad, essentially. Is it time to revive the Christmas pud? That's what we want to, to know. Michael, what do you think about Christmas pudding? We have some here. Would you care for a slice? I'm a fan. I'm not sure I want a slice of that. It, it looks a bit cold. And... It is. It's actually warm. Is it warm? I think it's been put in the microwave we, before it some, came on. If it, yeah. We need to put some booze on it and set it on fire. It does. It needs some something else custard. with it, doesn't it? I think it is really the, the setting it on fire that really makes yeah, Christmas definitely. pudding come alive. Do you know, we had uh, Lynn say that earlier and I always worry about somebody that just really enjoys setting, setting cake things on fire. Yeah. Well, it's also, that fire. is something I really enjoyed as a kid because you look at it as a kid, ah. sort of it, it burning that blue colour and that's quite an exciting... Vision. Just just setting that on fire, not right, setting set, things on fire let's in general. Setting this on fire right now is what <laughs> I'm don't saying. Know if we're Can allowed to. Yeah. I think they're having that. a heart attack in the gallery. <laughs> um, uh, Don, what do you think about Christmas pudding? I loathe it. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not a, not a cake person. I'd rather have a cheese board after Christmas without sounding too middle class. Um, not a big fan. And the, the problem with pudding after Christmas dinner is you've eaten so much in any case. You don't have to have it to, straight after. To, to, to have. <laughs> After you burn it to a crisp, to have it, to have it straight after that big meal, it just feels like you're not going to appreciate it in any case. Well, you can always save it till the next day. Uh, let's chat now, though, to Chef Aldo Zilli about uh, this very subject. What do you make of this research? Lots of people not thinking an essential part of Christmas Day. How do you feel about that, Aldo? I just think it's tradition. You know, a Christmas pudding is a Christmas pudding, and why do we want to scrap it? I mean, us Italians go for these kind of things. We've got Pandora, we've got Panettone here. Oh, lovely. And, uh, you know, in the uh, Undercroft restaurant where I am now, this Christmas, we're going to be serving Christmas pudding. <laughs> wow. How about so, that? What, so how do we modernise Christmas pudding to bring it into this century, to bring it alive for those non-believers? Well, non-believers... Uh, they should start believing because uh, <laughs> Christmas pudding comes out comes out once a year. It's a bit like scrapping turkey or scrapping panettone from Italy. It's the tradition of Christmas that we're trying to keep, and it's you know it's a yes. We can uh, tweak it. We can uh, do different recipes with it. We can cut it up and make it into a different pudding. Mm -hmm. We can pour some zabaglione on top and flame it. We can do whatever you possibly want. But if you ask my opinion and my genuine opinion, mm -hmm. my mother-in-law would never speak to me again if I don't give her Christmas pudding on Christmas Day. And she's 83. So it's up to you guys. Uh, I'm Italian, so I'm not, I'm not fast if you scrap Christmas pudding, to be fair. But I like tradition. Um, you know, at my age, I'd like to keep things as they are. Change is good, but not for Christmas pudding. Come on. <laughs> OK, I think you've sold that pretty well to us. And if not, if you've got any Italian ancestry to you, a bit of panettone could go a long way, actually, if you're not a fan of the old Christmas pudding. Uh, Aldo Zilli, thank you very much for your time there. We are getting close to the end of the show, but oh, I just want to <laughs> see you later. Merry Christmas for when it comes. Is it too early to say that? Probably. Um, We've got a vote board here, so I thought we'd take some calls and find out how you feel at home. Let's see how many of them we can get through. We will start with Jennifer from Somerset. Christmas pudding, do you love it? Do you loathe it? Loathe it. Oh. You loathe it? What makes Ew. you not like? What part of Christmas pudding is the worst part? Um, everything. I've never liked it. Never. Um, I was forced to eat sort of like a two-pea piece size bit okay well everyone had helpings of it and i just couldn't get it down <laughs> ever since a child yeah well i think if you're force fed anything mm. there lies the problem i think you're always going to have an adverse reaction yeah, and also as a small child the quite boozy tough mm. flavors to get used to i think some of it can be quite an acquired taste. so i understand that jennifer's allowed to hate Jennifer, it, you are you're allowed to loathe it <laughs> what is your preference then for christmas day what would you have as a dessert uh, I've got now that I don't have one, but I've got to be honest, anything. Just anything. So anything that isn't Christmas pudding. 
or Christmas Oops. cake, anything like that. I just don't. Okay. I don't like at all. Jennifer, it, thank, <laughs> thank you very much for your call. Tony from Hertfordshire, what's your view when it comes to Christmas pudding? Are you on the love camp or the loathe camp? I absolutely love Christmas pudding and mince pies. And mince but pies? Okay. You, I yeah. mean, we didn't ask about mince pies, but it's good that you've thrown that in there. What is it about the Christmas pud that's so joyful? Um, I've always loved it with cream, but unfortunately I had a big operation this year. I've had a stoma fitted and Christmas pudding and mince pies mm. are out of the question. And oh, I'm gutted. Oh, Tony. I'm gutted Absolutely for gutted. you. Um, and what are you going to be replacing it with then? I've got no idea at the moment. Oh, I've got no suggestions for you either. It's going to be one of those things I'll be going to sleep tonight and thinking, that's what I should have said to Tony. Uh, but you love Christmas pudding, just sadly, not for yeah. you. Thank you very yeah. much for your call. I want to put your votes on here too. Hold on, we had... What did, I, I can't remember love. what he said. He was, love. He, Michael I was love. And Dawn was loath. Loath, yeah. As loath. It just reminds me, actually, as a kid, I used to have, after Christmas dinner, I used to have jelly and evaporated milk. Mm. Oh, that's the delicious. Of, the rest of the family had Christmas pudding, but I had... Because it is quite... Boozy for children. I mean, it's an interesting thing. And they you put... burn the alcohol off, though, don't you? Yeah, but still, what, the what taste. What's your thing about <laughs> setting things on fire? <laughs> the taste still lies in there. It's got a, it's got a quite a mature taste. And and the idea is for children to find the the sixpence, isn't it? Or yes, the, that's the, right. The yeah. two p coin. Initially, when our caller said well, she was force fed it. a two pence mm. piece, I thought literally force fed a two pence mm. piece with the Christmas pudding. Catherine from Northumberland, uh, love or loathe? Hello. Hi. Hi. What do you I think, Christmas just, pudding? Do you love it? Do you love it? I just hate Christmas pudding oh. and I hate Christmas cake as well. Yeah, so Don't I only like found out... I only found out today I was 37 years old when I found out that Christmas pudding and Christmas cake were different. <laughs> um, because we didn't have it as a tradition growing up in my house, so when people talked about Christmas cake, I thought they were referring to this. Right. Not the sort of icing-covered log cake. Mm -hmm. I thought that was just maybe a... Is that a Scottish thing or is that just unique to your family? No, I think it's just unique it? to yeah. our family. We just never really had it as a, a tradition. I don't think my parents must have particularly liked it either. What do you find so horrible about it, Catherine? Because for me, it's the fruit in it that I don't particularly like. No, I don't like the fruit. No, no I don't like it. I don't used to don't make put anything Christmas healthy in my dessert. <laughs> what was that, Catherine? I used to make it for my mum and dad, but I never, I never ate it at all. Just well, hated it. Even worse, I having to make them. it for somebody else when you're not enjoying it. That's Well, that's oh, real yeah. love there. Um, <laughs> Catherine, thank you for your vote. I'm going to put my vote on there as well, which is loathe. And I have 45 seconds to find out from David from Cheshire what your view is. Love, loathe, loathe is um, the popular vote. Love them. Absolutely love them. Love them? not quite as good as when me and my mother used to make them. Oh. I'm 77 and I used to spend ages stirring them. And did you make, the, did you do the stirring the day that you have to make the cake? Did you do all the traditions? Cake, yeah. puddings, the whole issue. David, great. Listen, thank you very much for calling in and having your vote on that. I think a lot of people have a lot of um, sort of family memories when it yeah. comes to Christmas pudding. Thank you very much to my wonderful panel, Michael and Dawn, for joining me. Thank you for all your calls. Jeremy is going to be back here at 9.15 tomorrow morning. I'm going to be back same time, same place shortly after that. Until then, have a lovely afternoon.